Hi friends, Jacqueline here. Thank you for joining me today. Right now I'm just walking in place. We're going to get everything warmed up and I'll walk you through today's circuit. So today we're going to be working inner thighs and outer thighs. We have two movements. I'm working with dumbbells. You don't have to. You can do these movements without dumbbells, just body weight only. Uh, but if you are using dumbbells, use a weight of your choice. I'm using 15. Uh, do use a weight that's comfortable for you. If you are using dumbbell alternatives, you can use uh, water bottles here. You can use, you know, fish liquid bottles, you know, cooking oil bottles, whatever you have that has some weight to it that's not going to break or hurt you if it falls on your foot. All right, so keep that walk in place here and the two movements we're going to do and I'll demonstrate and coach you through these movements as we go through them. Uh, but just a quick overview, we're going to be doing a side lunge. All right, so that's going to be working the inner thighs. And while I'm talking, let's go four to the front and four to the back. All right, so we have a side lunge. We're going to be doing 12 on each side. And we're also going to be doing a squat with a leg lift. All right, so we're going to be working inner thighs, outer thighs, get some glute work in there. And we're going to be doing 12 of each of those movements on each side. And we're going to rotate through this circle, this cycle. We're going to rotate through this circuit three times. Thank you. All right. In four, three, two, one. All right, now just to warm up, we're just gonna do some body weight squats. If you'll uh, just stand in place here and I'm gonna demonstrate to the side just so we can get some good squat form down. We are hinging at the hips, kicking the butt back, lowering the body so your legs are about parallel to the floor and standing back up. All right, so we're not leaning forward. We are flat on the feet here anchored solid down, pushing through those heels and back up full that, full that full range of motion. All right, so you want your thighs almost parallel to the floor here. Hinge at the hips, kick that butt back. We're not rounding the shoulders. We're keeping that chest up. All right, join me when you can. It's just a warm up, just a body weight squat here. And we can start to add in that leg so you can practice that leg lift. I really like practicing the movement, I'm just lifting my leg here. Doesn't have to be a quick movement, we're not throwing the leg, we are lifting it. All right, when we add in dumbbells, you'll probably have dumbbells if you're using them on your shoulders. All right, so we're doing a squat and a leg lift for some glute and outer thigh work here. All right, when I practice movements or anytime you use weights, really good to start with no weights. Practice the movement, get your form down, and then add the weights in. Four, three, two, and one. All right, back to your walk. You might already be feeling that. <laughs> if that's the case, you might want to not use weights or Start with weights and then drop them, which is always an option when you're trying to get stronger. You can always start with a weight or start with a heavier weight. And then as you get fatigued or as you feel your form is starting to be affected, put those weights aside or drop down to a lower weight. When we say drop weights, we don't mean just throw them on the floor or drop them. We mean drop down to a lower weight. So that is always an option to start a little heavier. When you feel like your form's about to get bad, go down to a lower weight or drop the weight or get rid of the weights altogether. So that is an option for building up your strength. All right, the next movement that we're going to practice and we're going to do that side lunge. All right, so I'm taking one step out to the side. I'm gonna to turn to the side so I can demonstrate. Taking one step out to the side, hinging up those hips, kicking that butt back, keeping my chest up. So I'm not rounding my chest down, keeping my chest up, just a natural curve in the back and then coming back to starting. All right, so that's the movement. We're using inner thighs here. And I am, when I'm coming back, I am bringing my feet back together and then going back out to the side. All right, so both my feet are pointing straight pretty much the whole time. All right, we're gonna be doing, when we have weights, we're gonna be have weights in our hands, palms facing toward the midline or the center of the body. All right, two, and one. All right, we're just gonna switch sides. 
no weights right now, just a dry run or a practice run. Getting everything warmed up, we wanna make sure we have our form down. All right, so you're pausing for just a second here and then at the bottom and then you're kicking up, not kicking up, but you are pushing off the floor to return to starting position. And I am bringing my feet back together when I return to starting position. All right, and you should feel this in your glutes, in your butt and your uh, hamstrings in the back of your thighs and your inner thighs here. All right, two, one. Again, make sure, check those knees. You don't want those knees coming beyond those toes, okay? So you don't want your knees like that. All right, you want your knees behind your toes. That means you wanna kick your butt back, okay? Hinging at the hip, hinging at the hip, kicking the butt back, okay? We're not hinging onto the toes, all right? Keep your feet fat and flat on the floor. So if you're using uh, dumbbells or weights, go ahead and get those now. Pick up weights carefully with your legs, not your back. Very, very, very important there. All right, we're gonna get started with that side to side lunge and we are going to uh, do 12 on each side. So join me when you are ready. We're gonna get going here. 12, 11, pulling that core, 10, nine, Eight, knees behind the toes. Seven, use your muscles. Six, keep that chest up. Five, four, engage that core to protect that lower back. Three, two, squeeze on the way up. And one. Very good, let's go to the other side. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, engage those abs, six, halfway, five, Four, squeeze those glutes. Three, stay strong here. Two, one. Those last few is when our form wants to go bad on us, right? All right, carefully place those weights onto your shoulders. We're gonna do that squat with a leg lift. 12 each side, feet shoulder width apart here. Taking your butt back, hinging at your hips. I'm gonna to go to the side so you can see. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, posture is good. Pull on that core, one. All right, I'm gonna go back to the front position just so you can see what I'm doing. 12, switch legs. 11, 10, knees are behind the toes, nine. Eight, I'm not swinging that outer leg, I'm lifting it. Seven, six, halfway, five, four, get that full range of motion. Go all the way down, all the way up. Three, two, one. Lifting, not swinging. All right, put those weights down. Carefully with your legs, not your back. We're just gonna do a minute of walking interval here. All right, do a little kick to the front. Shake that out. 
We have two more rounds. And if you can, just pick up your knee, touch tops of your knee with your hand. In four, three, two, one. All right, so get those weights, pick up with your legs, not with your back. Protect that lower back, lifting those dumbbells with your legs. All right, we are going to go back to that side to side lunge. All right, 12 each side, let's get started. Hinge at the hips, knees behind the toes, core is engaged, shoulders back and down, chest is out. All right, mind that posture. 12, 11, 10, I'm looking out about 10 feet in front of me, 9, 8, engage that core, 7, 6, 5, Four, push off when you return. Three, two, and one. All right, switch sides. 12, and you might find that you're stronger. 11, on one side, then another. 10, and that's fine. Nine. Keeping those toes pointing forward. Eight. Engage that core. Seven, don't round those shoulders. Six, shoulders back and down. Five. Four. Engage that core to protect that lower back. Three. Two. Squeeze that butt. One. All right, very good. Carefully take those weights to your shoulders. We're gonna do the squat with the leg out. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Squat down, leg out. 12, 11, 10, I'm not kicking it out, I'm lifting. Nine, eight, Knees behind the toes, seven. Don't round your shoulders, halfway. Five, four, three, two, all the way up and all the way down, one. All right, other leg. Feet shoulder width apart, squat down. 12, lifting, not swinging. 11, take your time. 10, squeeze that button way up. Nine. Eight. Seven, engage that core. Keep that chest up. Six. Five. Mind your posture. Four. Three, squeeze those legs. Two, one. Very good, carefully place those weights on the floor with your legs, not your back. All right, we're just gonna do another walking interval here. Catch our breath. We do legs work, get our heart rate up. There's a, definitely a cardio effect. All right, I want you to take just a simple back step. Two to the back. Real easy here. And the reason, one of the many reasons why we do different movements when we do dumbbells, we don't just always do straight up squats or deadlift or what have you, is because we want to work muscles in different planes of motion. So that helps to train your body in a balanced way. And that's what we want to do. 
So you don't always want to do the exact same movements over and over and over. You want to work out in different planes of motion. All right. Four, three, two, one. All right, back to that walk. We got one more round in this circuit, you guys. You can do this. This is when it gets hard. This is where our form wants to drop off. But this is also where the change happens. So stick with me. I know it's tempting to, to quit at this point. Oh, I've done enough. But stick with me. Change happens when you push us a little bit more than you thought you could do but you can do it. So let's do this together and finish strong. All right, let's go get those weights if you're using them. Lift with your legs, not your back. Oh, whoops, actually we have those side to side lunges first. All right, side to side lunges. Posture is strong, shoulders back and down, core is engaged. Kick that butt back, hinge at the hips. 12, 11, Last set on this side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, mind that form, two, and one. All right, that was the last set on that side. One more set to the other side. Home stretch, guys. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, keep that chest up. Four, three, protect that lower back, engage those abs. Two, knees behind the toes. One, all right, you made it. Carefully take those weights to the shoulders. You should be getting tired by now. If you need to go to a lower weight, do that. If you need to put the weights down, do that, it's fine. All right. Feet shoulder width apart, squat down, hinge at the hips, butt back, 12, lift, 11, 10, full range of motion all the way down, nine, all the way up, eight, knees behind the toes, seven, six, squeeze that butt, on the way up, five, Four, three, two, one. All right, this really literally is a home stretch. Last, last set in total. 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right, let's put those dumbbells carefully to the side. Lowering with your legs, not using your back. All right, you made it. That was a tough circuit. Great job. Walk that out. Let's do a side step here. All right. And again, you want to stretch throughout the day. We're going to do a stretch here in a minute but you want to keep that stretch going throughout the day. So stretch multiple times, not just at the end of this video, but do that again at lunchtime. Do that again before you go to bed. Do it multiple times throughout the day. You might still get sore muscles, 
but you want to keep those muscles stretched. You want to maintain your mobility and flexibility. So keep stretching. In four, three, two, one. All right, plant your feet, grab one ankle, gently pull back. You can raise your arm up or arm out to the side, whatever you need for balance. If you need to grab a wall or a chair for balance, stretching out the front of the thighs or the quads here. Switch legs. Grab that ankle. All right, now an inner thigh stretch. Take your feet wider than shoulder width. Lean over to one side, knees behind the toes. Put your hands on your thighs for support. And we're just leaning into that, stretching out that inner thigh. Both my toes are pointed forward. If you can, reach to the ground here. Stretch out the inner thigh. And if you can, turn up the toes on the outside leg. Should feel a good inner thigh stretch here. Release that, switch sides. Start with toes pointing forward. Again, you should be doing this throughout the day, not just this moment, but do this again, maybe before you go to bed or at lunchtime, toes up on that outside leg. And release. And we'll do a quick, a quick calf camel. So raise up through the spine and then release, push down, look to the sky. One more time, roll up to the spine. And then back down, look to the sky, arch your back. All right, roll that up. Thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe again, give me a thumbs up on this video, hit that bell so you get notifications when we release new videos each week. Thank you so much. Share this with your friends and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for another workout. Thank you so much.